how has your journey been so far um kind of creating content and the different iterations of content creating that you found because i think for me the one frustrating thing that i generally get across the board when i just observe different conversations about content creating and like video content mm. is the lack of understanding of what it takes to really really like do video content uh-huh. and i think that like that is also going probably even into the space that like people who do like tv programs and, like uh-huh. it's a it's hard like it's like if you guys uh-huh. could see what the setup looks like right now like uh-huh. <laughs> like it uh-huh. is hard it took it's taken us actually probably two Two hours hours to get to like be able to sit down and talk right Mm. so how have you felt your journey has been like leading up to where you are well from where you are now Uh. um and just the fact that like i was watching an interview that said that she's a turn of sensation viral twitter creator so yeah so how are you how are you feeling from where you were what three years ago yeah to where you are now I think you know what, like, and like you said, like the I've I've kind of communicated this on different levels, right, uh, in different platforms and stuff. Um, I I had to understand myself before actually like getting into a space where I'm like, ah, oh, let me create. Yeah. Whereas I feel like when I started my channel, I started it very much from a point of like, oh, Wendy, you're so funny. Like hearing people say and my friends say, like, you should you should honestly like into this YouTube space, especially when I went to the States, um, people saying like, oh, like this whole experience, like you being here could have been like content for you because mm-hmm. a whole lot of funny shit was happening. I got like food poisoning while I was there. Like it was this entire thing, right? And, and I think you're fine. Yeah. I think I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then because remember, you don't have to use a lot of product. With content, you don't have to use a lot of product because you 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 use a little, then you blend it, and then you see if you need more, and then okay. you build from there. So I so I blend it. It was very important for me to leave and figure out what it is what it is that I want to do because here I was now I have the YouTube channel. Okay, can I ask like, though? Then what, how did you not feel you could figure it out while creating? No, so I think just the kind of person that I am, and I spoke about this on my the return video thing. I was like, I have to decide if I'm the kind of creative who goes things aren't clear right now, but I'm going to create in the haze, okay. or things aren't clear right now and I need to go figure them out and while I'm doing that I need to pause on my content Mm. because content was a huge part of the the kind of things that I needed to figure out like what kind of content do I actually want to make like Mm. what is because I was making things like I had I I was making very western type of content Mm. like because I was watching western um, or like American content creators, content creators yeah. that I still love and still watch to this day. But I think a huge part of me was emulating that. Mm. I was like, oh, I can do that. Like that's so funny. Like I can do that. And I try to fix, like, fit it into my context. But it's not until I left and actually decided for myself, Uti, what is what does this mean in the long game? Mm. So you have your YouTube channel. That's great. But what does this mean for Wendy? Like, what is Wendy trying to do with her life? and with her creativity and with her gift and what does this platform serve and that's when i was like first of all i want my content to be watched and understood by my family okay what does that mean you know um a video of a skit the valentine's day skits for example is that something that she would understand like if i went home for christmas and i'm like oh guys like let's binge my channel is this stuff that they would enjoy yeah um and then that's when I kind of decided, Uguti, first of all, that's the representation that I want on my channel. Yeah. My family. Yeah. Me. Like, my my language. Um, and then this one time, in Lini Notembi, we were talking about our childhood. Just, like, randomly as it happens, we too. Like, oh, and then... Oh, Hey, oh ma, Ogubane in Zulu households, my guns are look no look. Hey, my kind of generation, go it's in the oh, it's in the most my generation. And then I started like I would do a lot of um impersonations mm. in that moment just because I'm like imitating my own mother or my brother, and then again, put them in say, and we would do, do all of that, and we would die laughing. And then this one time, I took my phone. And I did the first Zulu mom mm. video, and it was and you it's very well received. Yeah, blend. Yeah. Blend. 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 blend, even here. Okay. And that's when I was like, oh, but all of that, 
like people reacting to our Zulu mom, people reacting to the Black Wendy VO, me speaking Zulu more, even in life mm. in general. And I think it's Carissa that said this on her channel once, Uguti. She has to be okay for her channel to be okay. okay. And for me, I needed to know myself to know what I'm doing on my channel. Mm. And, and that really meant really going back and because I lived with Americans for four years and my accent changed like things that I liked changed you know what I'm saying like, you know what I'm saying like oh no I'm saying girl oh my, oh my god oh my god stop 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 you need to stop like and a lot of that became part of my personality mm. but it wasn't who I it didn't it wasn't my character it was just you know and so I really had to step back and like reevaluate who I was um because I, I didn't know that I wanted that to pour into my content. And then now, fast forward to today, I'm working as a writer on Isibaya. Bang, 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 bang! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! And like... And that's fitting. Bang, 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 bang! You're the worst. Bang, bang, bang! You're the worst! Um, Gani, I mean, it's a big deal. Oh, it is a big you deal. It's a from, dream come true. I got so cool. It's so tough and it's so hard. The American accent. Fast forward to today, and I'm writing for Spy like that's like a normal thing. And that's thing. because, and that was because, and and you and I have spoken about this, like, and that I had, I had to feel like I needed to take a step back and realize who I was. I had to go through the journey of really interrogating what am I doing, and that's the thing with me. Like everything has to have a point. Like what does this serve? If I'm if I'm gonna come back home from a nine to five and still shoot a video after I've had a bad day and still edit that video until 2 in the morning so that it's up at 8.30. There has to be a point. And the point can't just be, oh, because I want people to laugh for three minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I, I, I got to the point where I was over that. So I was like, okay, I now know that I'm capable of making content that will make someone feel good for three minutes. Mm-hmm. But what does that mean for my bigger picture, you yeah. know? And me st- doing Zulu content um, and having my family engage with it, having my mom laugh about it, um, having my congregation like talk about it like at church with the testimony section of it and whatever, like really involving a community that raised me, mm. like that's that's a bigger that's a bigger point, and yeah, that yeah, yeah. that's definitely something I'm gonna stay up until three in, in the morning, in the morning to, edit. to edit. Um, and then obviously what then happens is people who are making that kind of content on a larger scale invite you into that realm mm. so like because i was a small player i had a tiny zulu character but because now you guys <laughs> and it's because of them because people people enjoyed it people retweeted it yeah. like uyanga sent me a voice note of his mother reacting to our zulu mom <laughs> that was validation from me i was yeah. like i'm sorry all types of generations um, man. Yeah. Mm. the fact that um, um, that i'm trying to portray is like that's exactly it yeah, though yeah. And, and can actually enjoy it and send a voice note of her laughing like that was for me was like I'm doing something here and I'm enjoying it and it's growing me and the bigger players are like okay let's see what you can do in this setting yeah. um, and daunting as that may be I mean it's incredible to, to be in a place where I can contribute to a show that has existed for seven years, six, mm. seven years, and also has a lot of like cultural impact, mm. like, just in terms of like relevant programming that honestly changed the game in terms of the type of shows mm-hmm. that we watch and the t- type of shows that we want to see. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the thing for me, like about content creating and the power of like why this shit is not a game. It's like, not because I feel like you don't worry about that one. We'll fix that together. Okay, cool. Or is it working when you peel it? I think it's working. Okay. Cool. Um. Where for me, I'm just like, a lot of people, you know, want to stay as YouTubers, you know, and they want to create in this realm, and like, this is the world that they want to live in. But a lot of, you know, a lot of other people who are, who studied film, who studied media, like, oh. our world goes beyond the, 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 the you know, the platforms or the, the web 2.0 platforms, essentially, uh-huh. that are out there. Because a lot of us are trying to prep for p- potentially being able to write for TV, uh-huh. for writing for film, documentaries, da 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 And it takes using a platform like this to be able to trial practice. that skill and to practice it out. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of the conversations that will help when you're in those spaces is okay, cool, yeah. I was creating in a small medium environment, but there's a lot of knowledge that we're gaining through the time here that we can use now when we're sitting. Maybe your recording has been stopped automatically. The card is full. Okay. Did you say the card is full? Mm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Welcome back 
to pop culture. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens. Um, so essentially, what I was just speaking to just before we got cut off, you know, um, because technology will let you down, mm-hmm. is that a lot of the work that we're doing with our channels and stuff like this is a passion project for us beyond just mm. creating content. A lot of us are trying to equip ourselves selves with skills mm. for like bigger opportunities and bigger you know opportunities mm. exactly to what um, Wendy was speaking to because like I don't know that three years ago you would have known that this was going to be your life never do you know what I mean no nope. um one to the two mm-hmm. it was like something in the back like yeah. intense but yeah and I, and I feel like a lot of the time social media um you know can tend to really play down a lot of the efforts that a lot of us are putting in to get these these videos out um yeah to get these videos out and like we do hey guys people are sacrificing a lot to get these videos out as lead in german yeah I'm first of all the whole day. we haven't eaten because <laughs> setup took too long and <laughs> and so um you know and like the amount of time that it takes to give yourself to this platform and to give yourself to content creating and video content specifically, the hours, the money, the everything that like it does it definitely does take a toll on you when the reception from people can tend to to go to a negative side when those people don't even know what it takes to be here. Exactly. So I would understand I would understand if me and you are beefing over over like if you come at me and you're like da 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 no your content is da 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 whatever whatever mm. because you've got you've got the hours to back it up. You've mm. got the t- you've got the sacrifice, you've got the whatever like the banter between me and you comes off at a different place than somebody else who doesn't know what it takes mm. to be where we are, you know what I mean? So and I feel like um the preparation and the dreams are so much more bigger than YouTube mm. for a lot of us and I, I've spoken to a lot of people who are on the tube and like our dreams are so much more bigger than YouTube mm. that like it takes a lot for us to be criti- like it not to crit- I don't mind criticism mm. but it takes a lot for unwarranted criticism mm. and the toll that it takes on you because you know what it took to get that one fucking video out using your cell phone using lights instead of tripods using this using stands chairs whatever whatever it took just to get your dream your dream across so i think i'd like get particularly like annoyed when like it's just made to be like another thing mm. like you know like oh yeah no it, it, video mm. content like whatever mm. and like youtube will fiend you off by fire by force like you'll be sift out <laughs> like powder mm. <laughs> when you actually start to take the time to come and create the content for yourself because uh-huh. when you actually get the opportunity to see what it takes and you feel it on your own and i've seen many people be like yo i tried it guys <laughs> it's a lot of work so and i feel like there's a there's a certain like respect that people have towards in the once they understand the mm. work that comes into it mm. and so you're not you're not too quick to criticize you're not too quick mm. to be like this whole thing trash or whatever because especially when you understand the hours and and the sacrifice that comes into into making these videos especially consistently mm, and sacrificing which, yourself also because i think a lot of a lot of our channels is us like i'm sitting here without makeup my edges aren't laid like i'm literally as i am as mm. i would be on the couch watching tv on my mm. own that like I'm not putting myself out there online, on screen, to mm. talk about my truth at that particular point. Mm. So I'm not saying that people have to agree with everything that I'm saying, but I'm just saying that people Consider. need to have just some like more consideration mm. for what it takes for anybody's craft. Mm. So I think even the place that I'm in right now, like I've carried a lot of guilt over the past couple of months of like just the lack of consistency on the channel mm. and just us not posting as regularly and like comparing our growth to other people's growth and like but just generally speaking that our our channel was never growing at the pace like everybody else Mm. it might have seemed that way but it definitely wasn't Mm. um even when we were consistent like we've i've seen a lot of people be like wow guys like pop culture deserves more credit like like why doesn't the channel have more followers i'll never be able to answer those questions i don't know Mm. why this platform doesn't have as many followers as other channels do um but my responsibility has been to the quality of the content and not to the number of people following me. Mm, so, because mm. like I said, I'm trying to grow my skills. Mm, to be able to it's like, bigger than yeah. the platform. Like, it's bigger than this. Yeah, so I think, like, it's, I've carried a lot of guilt this year just knowing that 
babes, you could be doing more. There's so much more content opportunities mm. that you could have been exploring. Your ideas could have been fleshed out. But like, I've had a really, really tough year in terms of like just trying to be more committed to my work mm. and trying to work hard at like getting myself set up in that space because obviously I moved. It was a same job but in a different uh, city, mm. so a different work pace, a different work environment. That you still um, need to different get Different people that I'm working with. So it was like just climatizing myself mm. in this world and like. It came with a lot of pressure. So anybody mm. who might have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen. I'll I'll make space for my Instagram um, go, channel. Oh, um, go, oh, oh, oh. And the go was real. And like, oh, the go was real. Mm. <laughs> how's that now, friend? A year later. Like, so the crazy that? thing is, I felt like I was in a shitty place, not knowing whether I'm coming or going. Mm. Kind of like really questioning, staying in the company, going to some other company staying in advertising leaving advertising going Mm. to study um and really just feeling like what am i doing like Mm. where is this thing going like what if like what's the who um and then really just getting to a place where i really felt uh what's the word oh then the time came for like work like the deadlines were coming in um working on our concert was coming in pitching was coming Mm. in like for four or five months straight it was just that and it was like two that was my go period but my content on instagram was just like dear go i can't breathe um we even shot an episode with the one guy and it was just like oh bird um and shit didn't get from that video it, things didn't go down things just went even worse too. like yo guys it was that big. Mm. but i was distracted right from what i tr- what i was really feeling i was distracted because now i'm busy and i think i learned a lot during that time because like i really felt i really got to see when I'm pushed to the edge, mm. who am I when I'm at the edge? Mm. And like I saw myself still like perform like at my best and really just not sacrificing the quality of my work because mm. I'm under like a lot of pressure. Mm. Um but I really reached a place where I coming out of it, it was like I decompressed. Um and I just didn't want to do anything. Like I'm being asked to be in this meeting, that meeting Mm. I just was. I, mean, I, I just, I was finished. Like I haven't worked for five months straight, basically with no sleep. I was finished, and then, luckily, soon after, my mom and I were prepping or planning to then, you know, go go to Thailand, and that was amazing. And the girl and I lived our best lives in Thailand. We took a break, we rested, and like uh. we really, really got to chill, 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 proper, proper, chill, chill, chill. Mm. And then I got back, and now I'm not as busy. Yeah, for the past couple of like weeks, just feeling a little empty mm. because we haven't been, you know, we haven't been consistent with consistent with the channel. Mm. So I've just kind of been feeling a little empty, you know, like uh, like what am I doing, girl? Because mm. like you know, there was momentum with the channel, and you know, things were, were moving. And mm. I don't think that I don't necessarily feel like I've lost the momentum because I feel like we never necessarily wanted the channel to be a burden. Mm. So we operated against our real lives as the real life was happening. Yeah. So I feel like um so if if losing momentum in consistency, yes, but not losing momentum in interest of yeah. creating content. Yeah. So I kind of have just felt like felt empty because I haven't had a thing. So Pop Culture helped me run away from work. And now <laughs> there was nothing to run away mm. to. In a nutshell, I'm in a place now where I really want to show up for myself. I really want to make an effort. Uh, but I think at the same time, it's very hard to make an effort right now. Like, yo, I don't know what it is. I really am like, it's very hard to make an effort. Okay, One, let's try it up this way. Two, three. <laughs> I got to do it. Like we'll, we'll make this in slow motion because everything else is not working. <laughs> oh my God. We tried, guys. Let's try but so anyway, hard. make sure to go to Wendy's channel to yes. check out our episode over there just uh-huh. to see all of this unfold and start and begin. But thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.